But I fought on and on. With two cutlasses in me hands, I swung them right and left like that. It was a hundred to one. I was getting weaker and weaker. I knowed I couldn't last much longer, when all of a sudden, I threw one of me cutlasses overboard. And with the one I had left, I started swinging faster and faster. Faster and faster, I swung me trusty cutlass. Then what did I do? What did I do? You just swung that rusty cutlass, I guess. No. No. Just then they started towards me. And my cutlass was going around so fast, just like a lawnmower. And it slashed off every one of their heads. Here's a story I've never told you before about my voyage to the pole. Is that where the cats come from? What cats? The pole cats. We had a pole cat on our house once, and boy, did we take a trip. Oh, you vacated, huh? Vacated nothing. We're fumigating. So, they're playing hooky at the dock again. And the captain's telling them sea stories. Oh, I thought so. And he just killed another hundred pirates. He did? Well, wait till I tell that captain something. You'll be monitoring until I return. Yes, teacher. And there, coming over the snow, was a flock of polar bears. Polar bears? Yes, sir. What, did somebody die? What do you mean, did somebody die? And those gentlemen who stood it off in his coffin, he had a flock of polar bears. Well, after we got out of that mess, the crew was taken by malaria. Where did she take them? Who took who? You say malaria took them, Drumblade. I said they were taken by malaria. I didn't even know she was there. Who, who was there? Why, the lady you was talking about. What lady? Malaria. Captain, what are you going to sign us kids up? Oh, sometime. You know, we want to be treasure hunters and pirates and have swords and guns. South Sea Islands in about 1800. Hi, Missy. Where are those children? Children? You should be ashamed of yourself, keeping those little children from school. Me keeping them from school? Yes, you. Filling them up with wild windjammer stories until I can't do a thing with them. Lord, Missy, I'm sorry. Well, I, I was only being sociable to the little tars. I didn't know. I don't want to tell their parents. But I guess I must. Well, I, I didn't understand your side of it, Lassie. I'll not be telling them any more stories. Please don't. You're here. Children. Children. Come out of there, every one of you. Come here. Come out. Come out. You 
children have played truant for the last time. I'm going to report you to your parents. Oh, gee, Miss Crabtree, don't tell my pop. Yes, I am going to tell your papa. Are you going to tell my pappy? I certainly am. Well, you have to wait 30 days because he's in jail. I've been thinking this thing over. I have a little plan, and if you'll help me, I think I can cure those kids of wanting to go out to sea. Now listen. Boy, will my pop swap my pants when he finds this out. Yeah, I wish I was pirate. Now, you leave it to me. When I get them on board the ship, I'll cure them of ever wanting to be pirates and treasure seekers. Shh. Did you hear her bawl me out? I'll get even with her for that! A while ago, you fellas wanted a ship with me. Now I'm shoving off tonight. Do you still want to ship with me? Sure, I'll think of you. All right. Here. Sign your name in that book. And come back here tonight when it's good and dark. Hey, Captain, can I have a cutlass? What kind of a cutlass? I want a veal cutlass. aboard this ship why he's just killed two men down below yes sir he's worse than fruit larson never dared to be boy he's a killer he's a killer Oh, you did, sir. No, you did, sir. Oh, shoot. Tell me 
Every man for himself! 